A lot of people, when they think about NGOs that work with migrants, they always think, oh, they, you work with refugees. They are the only ones in the really difficult positions. They are the ones that really need this. But that is simply not the case. The label refugee is more a legal term. Any migrant can be in a very difficult situation. So instead of looking at their status or their nationality, we look at the individual situation when people apply for migrant code. I'm Ananda Maya. I come from Venezuela, uh, Caracas. Hi, uh, my name is Farhana Tasnin Bipasha. I'm from Bangladesh. My name is Jorge. I'm Jorge Mario. I'm from Colombia. My name is uh, Alemi Husni. I'm from Morocco. We live in a place where you could see people eating from the garbage. We decided that we, we can't spend more time there. We, we are going to lose our time, or lose our life. It was a very new place, new language, new culture, and everything is new for me. Uh, so I really don't know how I will uh, adapt it myself here professionally, socially. When I moved to Spain, it was kind of hard because I need to find a, a job that's paid the rent. When people like us that come to this country, to tell the truth, we, we rarely think that we could have a job like this. We think in our child and we say we sacrifice ourselves for the future of them. We came with my father that was very sick and he couldn't receive his medical treatment back in Venezuela. He needed dialysis. We, we counted this whole story when we asked for asylum. Like my father had the situation, the situation with the food security, this, this blackout, <laughs> please help us. So yeah, as, as you can see on the slide, there are many nationalities in, in, in microcode, which is just super nice because it brings a lot of different cultures, it brings uh, different backgrounds, different stories. Well, what you see a lot uh, throughout Europe is that there's this, this, this separation almost between, between local people and, and migrants or newcomers. And microcode really tries to step in and connect these people. We have more than 40 nationalities right now in Microcode. So we have uh, people from Venezuela meeting someone from Germany or... We have people from Syria, we have people from former Eastern European countries. There are people from Bangladesh, from Ukraine, from Estonia. I was from Morocco, so it was a kind of cool mix. Everybody has a different story, but the, the common factor is that everybody has this hope of uh, becoming things becoming better in the future. Uh, the tech world needs the diversity, absolutely. And I think having people with a different background who start to become a programmer is a big advantage because you get people with a rounded experience and with a different perspective of things. My, my team was a fantastic team because I, we were three of us. One of them, the Bangladeshi guy, said, well, I have an idea. For Pakistani and Bangladeshi uh, people, it's not easy to get the, the proper ingredients to make the food. So we say, okay, so let's do an e-shop for Asian uh, powders, for Asian rices, for Asian all the stuff. And this is how we create the ultimate Asian e-market. Of course, what helped a little bit is amazing support. So as you know, in the end, it's just me and Carlos who are actually employed within Microcode and everyone else um, are volunteers. We have a lot and I thought of trying to find in Slack who helped the March groups, who was doing this. Uh, I would need another hour to go through all the people who have been involved with all of you. You have the coding which is just fantastic with all those volunteers. They're really developers with the, the heart in the right place. They want to help others. They want students to really understand. And then we have the volunteers who help with the CVs, the cover letters, even practicing technical interviews with the students. You would never find that in, in any coding bootcamp.
My name is Carlos Sanchez. I'm from Tarragona, well, a small town in the south of, of Barcelona. And I started in MigraCode in March. The idea of the curriculum is to teach uh, someone from scratch, completely from scratch, and to become a, a full stack developer. They are teaching the programs that right now are rocking in the world, which is React, uh, Node.js, uh, JavaScript, of course, that is, is a really important one in this world, and of course, CSS and HTML. When I was learning JavaScript, I was almost thinking that, okay, I cannot move more because the thing is becoming so complicated. And on that time, uh, I got, I should mention her name. Her name is Vozena. She is my code buddy. Vozena, you're awesome. <laughs> and now I can do everything by myself and also I can help other students. And all of this because of Vozena. If you go to a bootcamp that asks you 7,000 euros, it is about the money. It has to be. But MigraCode is not there for the money. It is only there for the students. Securing funding um, for MigraCode has been one of the main challenges. But even though this is still a challenge, and even though we still need to secure more funding for the future, at the same time we've been very fortunate with some amazing uh, partners from the tech sector. We have an amazing collaboration with Lenovo, so that's a new, very big partner that we are very happy with. I also try to, to do something on my own, um, on the bike, uh, to raise some awareness. Last time when I did this on Montserrat, uh, which was a challenge called Everesting, where you basically have to reach the height of Mount Everest by cycling up a hill as many times that in total you reach the elevation of Mount Everest. And the amazing thing was that we actually got a, an instructor from MicroCode joining a couple of times and we raised a lot of money. Like from the start, um, because of my social work background, also automatically I was trying to support the students on a more personal level next to the education, but uh, they needed way more advanced support. I mean, I'm a social worker, I'm not a psychologist. So after a couple of months, I started talking um, to Luciana. I'm Luciana, uh, I'm from Sao Paulo, Brazil, and I've been living here in Barcelona for two years and a half. Um, I studied psychology in Brazil and currently I'm working as a volunteer therapist in MicroCode. When my friend told me about the project and she told me that it was uh, with refugees, with immigrants, really came close to my heart. We have been doing therapy with the students. Uh, some of them are doing weekly sessions, some of them like every two weeks. I also work a bit with art therapy, so this is something that I've started recently and it's working pretty well as well, another form of expression. Sometimes we work things that have a lot to do with their culture, with the impact of coming here, but it's not always like that. I think a lot of them deal very well with this um, process on their own. So it really depends on how you get on the new country, with who, how you're feeling emotionally. Situations with the documentation, for instance. It's a waiting game for this. So how can we make things more bearable at this moment so they don't go through it alone? We are still struggling also with people accepting the fact that they are giving this opportunity, that they don't deserve this opportunity. So this is something that as society, I think we need to change. It's more of a reminder of my essential as a psychologist that things aren't always as we assume, as we imagine. I know that Vincent is super proud of the healthcare team, uh, mental healthcare team, because I hear something unique in these uh, 
coding schools for immigrants and refugees. It's so beautiful to, to know and to see and to really see movement towards something that um, is good and that's helpful. Women in migrant codes face a double challenge. First, the, well, the known challenge of that in the tech sector, there are simply not a lot of women. But I would say that for students of uh, migrant code who are all migrants, they have the second challenge of, well, simply being a female migrant. In projects like migrant code, it's mostly men that are represented. We kind of try to change that also through Code Women. And yeah, for that, I really want to mention Harriet. She's a volunteer and it's just, just bloody amazing. The background is, of course, that there are so few women in tech, especially programming, coding. It is seen as complicated, difficult, a lot of mathematics, and it's not true. But still, it can build a threshold for women to have the courage to enter into this. So we started Code Women in August. And it's, uh, it's been a success from the start. We've had very positive uh, reactions. The, the women are very happy to meet each other in this time of COVID. But I think the bottom line is probably that they feel there is an understanding within the group that you are in the same situation, you run into problems, but it is a safe space to share those problems. I'm so grateful to Henriette. She was such a, such a powerful lady. I think she's a boss lady. At such an age, the way she's nailing everything. Oh, I love you, Henriette. At the beginning, when I reached here, I don't have any friend circle here. I couldn't make, because I didn't go out. How can I make friends, you know? So, Migra Code and the Code Women was such a great thing for me. I find out so many uh, friends for me. I have Now I have a good circle. We used to talk, we used to share so many things and every, it's everything all because of my record right now. I'm so proud of my record. I, I didn't do anything about it, but I'm so proud of them that with all of this pandemic situation, we didn't know what was going on, what was going to happen, the lockdown or anything. We didn't lose a single class. I mean, they moved it online, like if they have done it online their entire life. We were so, so happy. Uh, we went to the graduation. My family, my brother, all of them, they, they follow us by the, by the streaming, even from Colombia. We're really honored to have worked with you, with all your stories, with your motivation um, to get through this program. It's not an easy program, it's eight months, 30 hours a week, next to jobs, next to families, next to this little lockdown that we had. Um, so yeah, honestly, it, it was quite an honor and, 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 and thank you. I just got a graduation. I'm super excited, super happy for everything that is yet to come. Happy, really, really happy. happy. We've, been, we've been talking to each other that this is a really project that changed lives. We're so happy, so happy, and so thanks with, with Migrant Thanks to Vincent and Migra Code to, to the opportunity. I so, can't believe we're done, actually. So one of the main things I would say, but I think uh, my team and, and all the volunteers probably agree with that, is that students actually found jobs. With the help of MigraCode, like we, we kept knocking doors and uh, trying to reach out to people. Also like, you know, that doubt that you have in the beginning that you're not good enough to take a project. And so they gave me the computer, they gave me the support and I will be thankful for the rest of my life for that. They help us to connect with companies in a, in a job fair. So it was fantastic because I got the opportunity to know 
uh, recruited from Web Health, which is the company I'm, I'm at work right now. They say, okay, you are from MicroCode. I have a, I have a position for you. Moving on from functions, to how are you doing? Yeah, uh, I actually got a job. Like last week, they told me they made me an offer. No and way. Yeah, I, I I just got a job, and uh, I will start on Tuesday, December first. It, oh it my was, god! It has been like such a long journey, but uh, I, I I got a job at free now. Okay. I, I started applying like three months ago. I had this technical test and another technical test and talking and talking and talking and talking. But yeah, uh, they just gave me an offer last week and... Oh. 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 Yeah. Like, so May I please? Yeah, sure. Yeah, may I please? <laughs> <laughs> That's so nice. I'm really yeah. glad. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's super I know is that um, everybody will, will have a different set of experiences. Some people know some things, some people know others. But that's actually a good thing because what it means is that that is a resource. You are a resource for each other. And one of the things that I most want to get over to you this evening is just how important that idea of being a support network, a peer group for each other is. I'm waiting the whole week when the Saturday will come and I'll go there because we, we just created a, a great bond inside of us, you know. If I get any opportunity in future to work for them, I will definitely and I will pray to God that he sometimes like the way I came from on the way from Bangladesh to Barcelona, he may give a chance to serve OCC or MigraCode in future. I'm very, very proud of be part of this community, of this course. This has been a really special year. It's going to keep in our memories uh, for, for a good time, if not for the rest of our lives. Uh, I, I truly believe that um, that MigraPo care for for everybody, uh, not only for the students, but for, for everybody that, that's been involved with MigraPo. I mean, all knowledge is important, but th this software things nowadays is like gold. And they just give you this for free. I think it's, it's something that really changed lives. It's always a cliche to talk about um, life-changing uh, opportunities, but in this case I do believe that, and I've, I've simply seen it. It is what it is because of so many people that want to help, to want to offer um, some kind of expertise to help others. I saw so many organizations, but I never saw something so kind, so compassionate towards immigrants or the people like us in here. And getting an organization who are so passionate about education uh, is it, something beyond imagination. It makes you want to change and be better and help others. And you don't see that very often. It reminds you that things can get better. And no matter what your situation is right now, things can get better. And you can always find a friend or somebody to support you.